So we're here with Jonathan Watson from the Creative Services Group in uh, New York. The virtual window, what is that? Ah, yes, okay. This uh, is an idea that came out of Austria, and essentially what it's doing, I couldn't give you the exact technical details, but the cool thing is, is that we're using the Vizarty virtual studio environment. So we still have a virtual studio set up here, but what we're doing is we're talking to the cameras inside the virtual viz environment. So as the camera moves, those cameras are moving there in full 3D space, which gives that final output illusion of 3D stereoscopic. So the Viz product name is Viz Virtual Window because it's very much like going up to an office building, looking out the window, and looking out like that. And you get that very interesting depth of three-dimensionality. Most video walls are 2D. Even if they're using 3D graphics, they're two-dimensional still. This is really 3D. This is going to be really cool. On a large output, it looks great, fantastic. So what does it add to storytelling? I mean, how can you use I, it? I think that for storytelling, I mean, if I was someone with a huge video wall, it gives you that chance, and you've got ways of controlling the graphics back there. First of all, imagine that you've got a huge wall, floor, uh, floor to ceiling video wall. Your, your floor will literally go all the way through back into depth of space, like a horizon. For storytelling, as a designer, how I would do it is I'd now be designing graphics that are back there in the space, coming forward into the environment and controlling. So now the talent, whenever the story is relevant and they want their graphics, they're coming from within up into the space, and then let's go back further. So I guess one could argue that'll create a hierarchy of the story as well. And I, I think visually it's awesome. I noticed you have these green sort of dots in your hands. Yes, what's, yes. What's that all about? Just temporary. Okay, first of all, we've partnered with a company called TrackMan. I, it's called a TrackMan technology. And they're getting the camera signal. And from the camera signal, they're able to track the flesh color of my hand and the green dot. And I can attach it using traditional interactive plugins. In this case, we're using the Molden plugins. And all of my graphics are interactive. So I can grab onto it. And this is called a mouse click, a mouse click and drag. And I can move it around. So now I'm attached to it. Now, on the final output, this will not be there. The same technology has a way of keying out the graphics, taking the flesh color out there, just filling it all in. So only the onset has this. They don't see it on the final output. And that's important. I also see you uh, do integrations with uh, social media this year. I think this is the best part. This is probably, I think, one of our more innovative ideas, and it's so simple. I'm using the idea of having a, a Facebook page with the same stories we have in here. But I think it's important to bring in social media, because, and especially in a real-time, fast environment, because now the broadcast can get a, a feel for which stories are trending, which ones are getting the most interesting comments, which ones out there in the social media blog sphere are the ones that the viewers want to feel, and maybe feedback that into an on-air broadcast. So we have a little application, and it's going to our NAB at VizRT, sorry, VizRT at NAB 2011 Facebook page, yeah. which we built for the show, and we're adding comments and likes, and all of that stuff is coming directly into our graphics, and that is really, really cool. So you have, uh, what are your main sort of themes for, uh, for your uh, public show? I think the main theme is the feedback loop, is the, 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 the communication between broadcaster and viewer used to be one way. And always, up until today, was one way. Now, with things like being able to feedback content from the Facebook social, social media pages, from Twitter, that is now a feedback loop that's always feeding on itself. So now you're finding what I would say the integration between broadcaster and online viewers at home is now really fully immersed and fully engaged as well. I mean, let's talk about the never know stuff, the, uh, yeah. the mobile media social app. I mean, we've got this way of sending out content, branded content from the broadcaster, controlled there, directly to your iPhone, your iPad, any of your tablets. And the viewers at home, the millions of viewers at home, can interact with those graphics and send commands and inf information back to the on-air broadcast. So do they download an app or how? It, what they do is it'll come in as an app. So what happens is sort of a middleware so that if you are a company, you've got your own, you already have your own app for the iPad or for whatever it is. You insert it in there and then you, you create your story around that. Let me give you some examples of how that could work. Let's say you're in a sports bar with your iPhones and you're watching NBA basketball and the ref makes a bad call. The director could easily throw out a question. What do you think of that call? And on your iPhones in your bar, while you're having a beer, while you're watching the game, you can send back your response. Bad call, good call, whatever. And now you're getting that automatic Facebook or in integration back to, say, a graphic on screen, and you're seeing the loop connected. So that's a simple way. Another way could be home shopping networks or election yeah. uh, results. I mean, it, it, it's, it's truly really important to simply say that Nearly 100% of all viewers are already watching television with a device in their hand. 
they already have the iPads there, or their, la their, their laptops are open, or their cell phones are going. And the same technology can be used in stadiums as well, all of it talking to Viz graphics, and that's great. One of the best ones we have, I think. So have you had good feedback on your public shows here? I think the feedback's been pretty good, yes, yes. I mean, the whole idea was to present five new ideas, five innovative concepts, help Viz RT people create more. And that's, I think, I think we've accomplished that massively. Great. Tor, thank you very much. Pleasure to talk to you. Bye, bye home viewers.